Good morning, friends, and welcome to this week's service of Teen Church with me, Tabang. And it is a very special day today because it's Mother's Day. I woke up and I called my mom, and it was also a special week because she had a birthday on Monday, and I am considering myself blessed that I still have that relationship and that she's still alive. If you are like me, your mom is still alive, please use every moment that you have to appreciate her because life is too short. And we also know that this day brings sad memories to those who have lost their parents. If you are one of those that have lost their parents, please um, accept our love, blessings and uh, condolences. And then we hope that this day helps you remind, uh, remember rather your mom in a very special way. And yeah, blessings to all the moms out there. Shout out to you if you are tuning in. We love you and you are always a blessing and you'll forever be a blessing. Um, and we thank God for you. Um, because it's Mother's Day, we are going to look at scripture and we are going to be reflecting on Mother's Day from a scriptural perspective. We read from the Gospel of John chapter 19 and we only read... Um, two verses, verses 26 and 27. John chapter 19, verse 26 and 27. I'm going to read from the NIV version and it reads as follows. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, he said, here is your mother. From the time on, the disciple took her into his home. And this is the word of God. And we give God thanks uh, for the uh, reading of his scriptures. John chapter 19, Christ uh, is at the cross and he's looking down. Many people are there. But John specifically says Jesus Christ sees the mother. And at that moment, he knows that his mother is hating because no parent wants to see their child in that situation. No parent wants to give birth to their child who are ultimately going to be um, crucified. But as the story says, Jesus Christ was at the cross in, in this time. And I have a feeling, um, and also as the scripture says, that Mary knew that Christ had to come and um, save the whole world. So this is why uh, Christ was at the cross. But I can only imagine the pain of a mother seeing his son up in the cross. I can only imagine the pain of a mother hearing people insulting his son up in the cross. The people that are saved by this son who's at the cross. I can only imagine um, other mothers who are there insulting someone else's son. But his mother is there to a point of the end. The other disciples are not there, as the Bible says to us. The only disciple who's here because uh, of what we read in Scripture is John. And Jesus Christ looks at the mother and he says, Mother, woman, here is your son, and son, here is your, your, your mother. But the point that I want to look at is mothers are always there. Let us go back quickly to John chapter 2. At the beginning of Christ's ministry, Mary was there and he knew exactly what to do. When the people run out of wine, Mary, who is the mother of Christ, goes to Jesus and says they have ran out of the wine. Even though Jesus says to his mother, my time has not yet come, but Jesus ultimately does what is expected of him. And because the mother trusts and knows his son's capabilities, he goes to the son and boom, people have enough and even people are complimenting what Jesus has done. Now, the same mother is at the cross again where the ministry of christ on earth ends and he and she is still there faithfully to the son now the message that i want us to to reflect on is that our mothers are always there for us at the beginning of christ's ministry mary was there actually at the beginning when when the holy spirit um made uh, the mother of jesus who's married to conceive Mary was there. Mary is the one who carried Christ. Mary is the one who gave birth to Christ. Mary was there throughout the life and ministry of Jesus Christ. Mary could have been any other mother who would have prayed to God that, God, please, my son should not go through this. But there is no way in scripture when Christ was at the cross where Mary prayed, uh, Jesus should not go through what he went through. And this says unto us that, our mothers are there from the beginning 
until the end. And for this reason, we should always appreciate them. There are times when our parents make decisions that when we look at them with our own eyes, we think, um, I could have done better. Whether we think we could have done better or not, that is beside the point. The point is they had to decide whenever a, that situation that they had decided on arose. And I honestly think sometimes we look at issues which we think our parents could have done better or differently. And we think, nah, 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 nah. But that is beside the point. The point is, one, our parents are always there. Our mothers are there from the beginning. Secondly, our mothers are there even the, before the world knows us. Even before we knew Christ, Jesus, Mary was there. Our parents are there even in moments when the world does not see us. Mary was there when, in moments where scripture does not uh, talk to us about, where uh, Jesus Christ maybe had fallen, had had a minor injury. It was Mary who nursed him. Well, the scripture does not say that. This is just me thinking. Our parents are always there beyond every point. And I just want to encourage you today, um, anyone who's tuning into this service, that let us use this time to please appreciate our mothers. It is okay um, that at some point we are not going to see uh, things uh, the same. That is life. That is life. But the bigger picture is let us love our mothers. I read a quote during the week by one of America's uh, uh, former presidents, Theodore Roosevelt, who said, Ultimately, at the end of the day, it is the mother who's more important and more important than a soldier who has to uh, protect the country. So mothers are important. And I want us to use this opportunity to just appreciate our mothers because they are a blessing. Jesus' mother is a blessing to us because she carried our own Savior, which is Christ. You are tuned into this service because there's a mother who carried you. Remember who carried you. And the first person who carried you is your mother. And I just pray that as we are tuned into this service, we are reminded of those small moments when we, 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 we could not walk and our parents helped us walk, when we, we fell and our parents helped us to get up, when we could not understand the word, but our parents tried to listen and understand what we were saying. Alpha and Omega is Christ. Alpha and Omega had a mother, and that mother was Mary. And none of us here were born into a vacuum. We were born from mothers, our heroes, who are always there. And even now, in this time of lockdown, they're always trying to work from home to make sure that we have meals, to make sure that we do our schoolwork. They are just multitaskers of note. And at times, we do not appreciate them as often as we should. And my challenge to you today is, after this service, go and appreciate your parents. Whether you write a letter to them, whether you write them a poem, whether you write a song to them, whether you go and give them a hug or a kiss, whether you go to them and appreciate them, please do that whilst you still can and have an opportunity to do so. Please let us go out there and appreciate our parents, most importantly our mothers today, and also those people who play a motherly role in our lives. I consider myself also blessed that my mother is about uh, 200, more than 250 kilos away. But even in Bryanston, I have found myself mothers who always fill that gap. I always feel loved and appreciated by the mothers that I have, God has given me in this church. And I'm grateful. And I'm also going to go there, out there, like right now, after the service to go and appreciate them through text because obviously we have to stay home it's lockdown but bottom line is appreciate love appreciate love appreciate and when you reflect on the journey that you've had with your parents you actually realize that blessings are not only materialistic things actually blessings should not be considered uh, materialistic things but the people that god has given us you and i are a blessing to each other and our parents are a blessing. They understand that they are blessed to be a blessing. So in the short message that I had for you today, remember to love and appreciate your parents. I love you. God loves you. 
But most importantly, today, let us love and show a true appreciation to our parents. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for the mothers that we have. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that on a daily basis they have to wake up, figure out how the household has to be in order, how they have to go out there and work. Even though, Lord, when we mess up, they are the ones who always come in our defense. We pray, Heavenly Father, that everyone tuned into this service may learn to appreciate and acknowledge the fact that they still have parents. Forgive us, Lord, for not loving them enough. Forgive us, Lord, for not appreciating them enough. Forgive us, Heavenly Father, for not showing them that we love and care for them. But remind us today, Lord, to appreciate, to love them. Remind us that we are blessed to have them. And we also pray for those whose parents are not uh, alive anymore, Lord. Please give them strength, love, and care. And we pray for those that are continuing mothering to them. We will pray all of this in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless our parents. May God bless us. And may God bless our nation. Amen. And now, friends, let us end our service um, in the words of benediction. And then may we find time to always catch up with our friends, especially those that we consider strong. They need us also. And then may we also love our parents. Please, I cannot overemphasize this. Let us love our mothers. It's Mother's Day. Let us love them today and beyond. Awesome. Let us do the benediction. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us always, now and evermore. Amen. Be blessed.